You know, I slogged, bought Irene a diamond, a big diamond. It's beautiful, but doesn't have a heart, she said. I look for the wave and miss the ocean. She left, and my search began. No, I know, I know, I know we missed it. Just, just two tickets, please. We made a lot of reservations down the line. They'll all go waste. Morning, evening, night. What? What? Why the hell can't something? I can't understand. Why the hell can't something just No, I know, I know this is peak season, man. for once. I mean, how are you going to hear the damn phone if you keep it on silent about, under your pillow? What about the evening I flight? Mean, how many times I told you, just don't do that. Tomorrow? Especially on fucking Will you please shut board. up, Meera? Yeah, yeah, sorry. Um, is there anything available tomorrow evening? No? Right. No, no, thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Great. Shit. Great. This holiday is jinxed. You know this holiday is jinxed, yet you will do this. You will just screw it up completely. <sighs> but it could have happened to you too. So it happened to me. That doesn't mean you scream your head off. I'm not screaming. And no, it does not happen to me because I don't goof up, okay? I don't goof up on things that are important to us. To me. But this is important for me as well. Meera, listen. Why don't we just get into the car right now and leave? I'm not going anywhere. stayed back and felt all the more pissed. Talk. Take it out. The earlier the better. There's nothing to take out, Krish. Well then, don't sit like this all quiet. I'm pissed off, Krish. Not after so much preparation. Look, I take full responsibility. That's what you always do. Completely screw it up and then take complete responsibility. End of matter. Don't I compensate? With yet another fucker? Yes, sure you do compensate. So much preparation, Krish. So much bloody preparation that none of us had the right to screw it up like this. I get just this one week in a year. And I get 15. At least you get to go abroad, visit places, get out. Those are vacations? I didn't know that. You don't know what I go through. Week after week, month after month. Meera, it's worse for me. Yeah. Your pain is always a little bit more than everybody else's. Your problem's bigger, your boss is tougher, your deadline's tighter. Basically, your ass is always taken a little bit more than everybody else's. Right? Listen, we won't look for the Kardigas Valley this time. The butterfly can happen some other time. That way you'll get time to do the things that you had planned. Stop this now. Stop being ridiculous. No, I'm serious. You'll have to wait one whole year for your butterfly again. I deserve it. I told you it's okay now. Let's just find it.
For all you know that Kartikeya's chap was not an explorer at all. And that book and that valley was all rubbish. But the Mahabharat isn't. We'll soon find out. I found the book in the unlikeliest of places. Not the Mahabharata, but this strange book about a legend in the strangest place in the world. Kartikeya's valley. Discovered by an explorer who set out to find distant lands and ended up chasing a butterfly only a butterfly that nobody believes in no one believes in happiness Would you like some tea? Would you like some tea? No. No. You think we'll do 425 today? Give me a drag now. Since when? Again? Not in Bombay. Decided I'd smoke this vacation. I decided that this vacation I'd do everything I want to do. And similarly, shit. The dad thing rings even here. Hello? Meera? Yazubi. Are you already there? No, there was a screw up. We switched off the alarm and went off to sleep. We missed our flight. Oh God! So now? No, we're going by car now. By car? Wow, that must be fun. So where have you reached? Yeah. We are in the middle of nowhere. That's why I was surprised when your phone rang. Yeah, what's up? Uh, listen, Meera. I'm sorry to bother you on your vacation, but I thought there's something you should know. Priya called up Mr. Kochar. and even fixed up a meeting she asked me to give her all the earlier correspondences what what is the damn problem man tell her to just lay off why is she going to my clients i know i asked bobby he said it's okay subi let her have the fight we're all working for a common goal here you know with this usual stupid smirk tell her it's my domain okay yeah that's why i called you okay you know okay listen you keep in touch with me okay and sure i'll keep calling you as yeah, well yeah. Okay. Have fun. Bye, Mira. Okay. Bye, Subi. What's up? This bloody Priya, chasing on my clients. I don't know why the hell she just can't lay off. Bitch. You know, I strongly suspect that this Priya has something to do with that Bobby. The way he puts up with all her nonsense. And I'm surprised your office hasn't called. Usually they go berserk when you leave town. No, those are all H2. Even on the Nikkei, markets are all no-brainer these days, man. Hi, Krish. The taxi's gone. Finish your call. I'll get you some coffee. Right. And the MD's just called for you. Okay. अरे बिन लादन भाई हिलाएगा तभी तो हिलेंगे ना. हाँ. Yeah. Yeah, you didn't know. Yeah, tomorrow. अरे just for a week, man. छुट्टी कहाँ मिलती है? हाँ. अच्छा, listen. I'll hang up now. I'll catch up with you later. हाँ यार बॉस ने फोन किया है ओके बाय बाय हेलो या हाई विजय यू कॉल्ड आई एम सॉरी फॉर एवरीथिंग आई सेड इन द मॉर्निंग हाउ कम सडनली जस्ट क्रेश I guess at least we're out of that hell hole, so we're fine. <laughs> the phone call did it. An insignificant insect, 
ubiquitous, yet impervious to reality, hiding in the dust of its touch a secret, peace, love, luck, and happiness, the great Indian butterfly. Yet the whole world has conspired to ignore it. Disbelief in the face of realism. Stubbornness in the eye of truth. A mass collective self-hypnosis. Determined to search for a demise. Reaching for success. It's not far from here, follow me. Wasn't it better than a dirty loo? Actually, it was great. I feel like flying. <laughs> Have you ever sat on a bus like they do? No. Why? I want to do it. <laughs> okay. Now. What do you mean? On top of the car. Now. No chance. Get in the car. Krish, please. Just for a while. Are you crazy? It's a goddamn highway. So what? Come on, get in the car. In fact, it's good. There are no cops here. Please, Krish. Just for a while. Okay, from here to there. I just want to sit in the car and feel like I'm flying. I've been wanting to do it since, since I was a kid. Ouch! <laughs> Oi, hold on. Yeah, hi. Hi, Lizzie. Hey, baby. Has Goa without me? No, we overslept. Huh? Yeah, Mr. Flight. So... No, no, we're driving to Goa now. Shit. Is she around? Yeah, she's on top of the car. What? On top of the bonnet. Can't you hear her screaming? She always wanted to be on top of a moving vehicle. So that she could feel like she was flying. How sweet. Listen, Krish, have you told her? No. No, I haven't told her yet. Krish, you have to tell her. You know she's going to feel all the more cheated. No, I know. It's just a matter of time. Okay, bye, Lizzie. Listen, listen, baby. I have to talk to you, so I'll call you later. Don't call me. I'll call you. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. Yes! Yes! Wow! It was great! It was just fantastic! Thank you, thank you, thank you so much! And you know what? You must try this once! Because it's fantastic! Mwah. Thank you!
What's wrong with you now? Nothing. So now you've decided to act twice. You know, Krishna, so... Please, Meera, I'm fine. I'm really happy you fulfilled your dream, okay? So why do you have a constipated face? Do you have to bicker all the time? Can't you see it's getting too frequent? Why don't you just let me be? I'm letting you do all the things you want. Bicker. I bicker all the time. I'm really sorry to say, Krishna, you have no idea how to make people happy. I did not say anything. Nothing, okay? You started it. This is what you always do. Blow hot, blow cold, no rhyme, no reason. When we used to live in that leaky old flat in Sion, forget a car, we couldn't even afford a cab. But at least we were happy. Look at us now. I travel 15 days a month. You slog for 15 hours. We know we can't do a shit about it. Whatever little time we get, ideally we should be making the best of it, but we don't. We are going on a holiday to have fun, relax. But all we've done since morning is fight, fight, fight. I wasn't fighting, Krish. I was only asking you why you're looking so horse-faced. Are you by any chance PMSing? You always make me feel small, stupid, juvenile. It's always as if something's wrong with me. You know what, Krish? It's not me. It's you. Oh, please. When are you due? Will you stop fucking asking me that again and again? First PMS and then you'll know. Dick. Mom had called. How are they doing? Okay. Dad's not too well, actually. But then Delhi has such screwed up weather. Can't even call him over. The last time they came, you were traveling till the last minute and I... But they chose the wrong time. I had back-to-back -back road shows lined up. I'm not blaming you, Yad. Why do you get so defensive? I myself couldn't give them any time because of the thunderstorm in my office. What else did she say? Same old thing. Why aren't you guys having a baby? You're 30 plus, it's getting late, blah, 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 blah. What did you tell her? I told them we've stopped having sex. I had all the mind to tell them that. But that's not the only reason why we're not having a baby. What is it? Positive. Show me. Must have happened on the 14th night. What are we going to do now? Why? We have the baby. What else? I don't know. I, I can't. I, I can't go on maternity leave right now. I'll lose my promotion. What about my work? You know how I slog. You know the politics in my office. The pressures. The number of meetings I have to go out for every single day. In the night it's... Why are we talking about this? Meera, please. We are not going to discuss the kid issue and spoil our vacation. It's not about the kid issue, Krish. Please, let me just talk for once. It all has been weighing on my mind for so long. I, I just need you to sit there and listen to me. Just once. No fighting, no accusing, no blaming, no... Just plain talking. By the time I get home every night, it's 9.30, 10. I cook dinner. You're either there, not there. By the time I... We hit the bed, it's 12 and... I have to wake up early the next morning and... I've heard all this before, several times. But you don't understand it. You land up from your tours, all charged up and fresh because you're coming home after a few days, weeks. You know you've been away. You probably had your dinner and slept and relaxed on flight. You can go to office late, or maybe not go, saying that you reached late and that you've been out of town. Have I said anything to you ever since that day? Why are you raking up this whole topic again? Because your silence is worse, Krish. 
If you said something, at least I'd know what's playing on your mind. You call me frigid. I'm not. I also feel like making love. And it's got nothing to do with the kid issue, Krish. It's not you alone who's suffering. I don't suffer anymore. That's even worse, isn't it? Don't you realize, Krish, that something's very wrong between us? How can you not suffer knowing that there's no intimacy left between us? Either you suffer or decide not to feel the suffering. The situation doesn't change, really. You're anyway going to turn the other side and go off to sleep. You can take the initiative. Not as if I've ever stopped you from touching me or anything. Why me all the time? Isn't that like taking me for granted? Take the initiative. Forever. I have a valid right to lay back and expect you to do things to me. And you're the same person who said that love is about giving. Wonder how many times Lisa took the initiative. How the fuck does Lisa get into the picture? How the fuck? Relax, Krish. I, I was only asking, okay? Because... Because I've only had one partner to love and I've had so many. So I just wanted to know how they were better. If they were any. Why, Lisa? Why? It's the best way, Krish. I just... need some time... to think. I need some space. That's all. And Bangalore is not far, baby. What is it? You don't love me anymore? Then what is it, Lisa? What is it that you have against marriage? I don't understand. You'll be as free as you are today. But can't you see we can't be just friends or lovers anymore? We can be lovers, partners forever, Krish. You know I'm a bit crazy. I can't just walk into something without being convinced, no? What if you're never convinced? Then... Then I won't begrudge you anything, Krish. You'll find a lovely, beautiful girl and get married. Meera, you have to stop taunting me about Lisa. I'm sorry. No, you always do it. You first say it, then you say sorry. It has to end. It hasn't ended from your side. What do you mean it hasn't ended from my side? If it had, you wouldn't react this way. And you still are in touch with her. So? In spite of me telling you repeatedly that I'm not comfortable with it. But you still... Still what? You think I'm seeing her on the sly? I too had a scene with Hari. He tried calling me a couple of times. But I didn't give him any importance or attention. He stopped calling. Now I don't even know if he's alive or dead. And I don't care. But I don't see that happening with you and Lisa. It's bound to be on my mind. And I didn't even sleep with Hari. Ever. You had a two-year live-in relationship with Lisa. How can I forget that? Any self-respecting man won't even turn and look at someone who did this to him. But you continue to be in touch with her, talking to her, sharing jokes on SMS, on the net. I don't know even... Even what? Meet? Sleep? You think I'm still... Okay, think about this objectively. How would a woman feel if her husband does not find her attractive anymore? If he doesn't give her the same kind of attention, is not nice to her? 
and at the same time is still continuing to be in touch with someone he's lived with for two years, and not a very long time ago. Put yourself in my shoes for once and think. Am I or am I not supposed to feel uneasy with this? What? Kick your moronic brain with this, Dumbo. Butterfly, butterfly. I don't love Lisa. Not anymore, I mean. And I haven't met her. Apart from the two instances during both of which you were there with me. Yes, she writes me mails. She calls me, and I respond like any mature human being. But there's no titillation in it. No hope for a revival, or no maintaining a shelter for a rainy day. Frankly, it would hurt my ego to ask her to stop calling me, because that would mean that she still affects me, my life, when she doesn't. I don't accept that explanation. Because if you say you don't care, as you always insist, there is no question of people getting hurt. You don't care. You don't care, Krish. You just want to control her. These stupid games that you're playing. You feed her hope and you starve her body. And unfortunately, I'm stuck in this stupid game. Starve her body? What the fuck is that supposed to mean? You men want all the women around you to be endlessly attracted to you, and you put on this facade of being this carefree, caring, manly being with balls of steel. You don't even realize when women take you for a ride. Oh come on, give me a break. Whatever. It's there in the Puranas. It's there in the Mahabharata. The Pandavas had stumbled upon the hidden valley when they had lost everything. I guess you need to lose to win. You want to take a while? Hmm. A bit. Okay. Good night. Finding this valley is, I suppose, not easy. Like buying a ticket to Disneyland. You don't need brains or muscles to find this place. You need something else. Your phone is ringing. Yes, Bobby. Sorry, babes. Something important has come up, so I thought uh, I'll talk to you. Not a problem. Tell me. Well, Mira, don't get me wrong. In fact, just going by the numbers, the management has decided to promote uh, Priya as the general manager. How is that possible, Bobby? Priya has five years of work experience, and I have more than eight years. Hmm. It's a bit unfair, don't you think? I've tried my best, Mira. In fact, I have asked for an increase in the head count, and I'm sure this is just a temporary arrangement. But you don't lose your sleep on this, because your contribution is. Hello. Hello. Hello, Mira. Hello. Mira. Hello. You there? Hello. Yes. Yes, the signal is breaking. Listen, let me call you in a few hours. Don't worry, Mira. No. I'm there for you. No, I have something to say about this. What is she saying? No, I have something to say about this. <laughs> <laughs> so, general manager, where do you want to celebrate, huh? Your place, Duke's retreat, Khandala. Well, if you allow, sir, then we can begin right now in your cabin. What happened? I'll have to report to Priya. She's been promoted. क्या नाम है कृष्णा स्कूल जाता है यस। यस। 
Where is the school? Where do you live? <laughs> you like chocolate? You want one? Come with me. Why don't I don't get the point? Here we are. Here you are. Thank you. Welcome. अंकल वहाँ पर एक पुराना टेम्पल है आपको देखना है कितनी दूर है पाँच मिनट इस तरफ That I'm on leave. When I get back, forget Priya. If I have to even report to Bobby, I'm going to quit. They can expect my resignation on Monday. Enough is enough here. And what did he say? Poor Bengali must have had a minor heart attack. But he remained his usual calm self and said he'd look into it. But I was categorical. So, what are you going to do now? Meaning? What if they don't do anything about it? I'll quit. Won't you support me for a while? <laughs> yeah, of course. ये मंदिर 500 साल से भी पुराना है अच्छा आप भगवान के पास जो मांगोगे वो आपको देगा तुम ऐसा मानते हो हाँ तुमने इनके पास लास्ट क्या मांगा चॉकलेट योर रेसिंग लेस देन हंड्रेड किलोमीटर लेफ्ट and i'm tired you are minimizing the chances of reaching itself i thought you were sleeping no i was thinking what office that whether i did the right thing or not what do you think well i wouldn't have done it why it's bad strategy one you're out and have no control over the process two you don't have a job in hand three markets are bad you don't understand my pain you never have why do you say that You have never faced such a thing. Right from the beginning, you've always got what you wanted. You've been in the right books of the right people at the right times. You've done better than all of those in your batch. You've risen too fast. You don't even have an idea what I go through, Krish. Do you realize how bad that can be? Rising up so fast? I have so few options today. Why would you ever need options? You know, Krish, this is the thing that bothers me. You look at life very much from your perspective. You've never had to fight, so you don't know why people have to sometimes get up and put a foot down. Hobby's a fucking womanizer. He has even eyed me. Does that make any difference to you? Priya is giving him what he wants, and now, seeing an opportunity, he's put Priya on top of me. And you ask me to seek refuge in strategies and keep shut? If necessary, I'll quit. Maximum, what will happen? We won't buy the apartment in Bandra. We'll sell the smaller car. For all you know, God wants us to slow down. We can't afford you not working, Mira, for some time at least. Why? The house. It's not the house, Mira. Tell me, why are you so fascinated with this house? Why can't we be fine with a smaller house more in the suburbs? Why is it so important for you to show off at the seaside apartment, call friends, have parties, while I'd still be returning at ten and eleven in the night? Please, Mira, I didn't say that because of that. Every fifteen minutes in the last fucking month, the only thing you've spoken about is the apartment. They're closing the bookings. The fifteenth floor is gone. They're giving us a four percent discount. Four fucking percent. Oh, they've agreed to alter the floor plans. You can see Sharuk's lawns from the fucking bathroom window. And you think I'm too naive to understand what you're talking about? Shut up! Just shut up! I can't take this anymore. You've been going on since morning. You're driving me crazy. I don't know why I came to a holiday with an idiot like you. You're fucking stupid, man. No wonder people supersede you. Stop the car. What for? Stop the fucking car! Fine. Don't want to see your face.
moment, please. Mr. and Mrs. Krish Kumar? That's right. Room number 206, sir. Have a nice day, sir. Thank you. Thank you. This is for you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, ma'am. Good night. Good night. I have a suggestion. You're free to take it or leave it. It's simple. We won't talk about home till we get home. Home meaning Bombay. And that includes work and all the other things. We tackle Bombay once we get to Bombay. The idea is to unwind, relax, love. We'll do just that. I'm going to take a quick shower. You're free to join me. Then we'll uh, catch the buffet and sleep off. Tomorrow our great vacation starts. And I'm sorry about calling your names. You know, it was out of tiredness and anger. I never meant it.
wieder. It's already nine. I have a terrible headache. What time did you sleep last night? I don't know. What do you want to do? You want to sleep some more? Should I get you a discipline? Feeling very washed out. Get up, freshen up, have some breakfast, take the medicine. I'm sure you'll feel better. It's beautiful outside. What's the plan? Well, you'd written that we'll check out the beaches of Kalanguth and Baga. And then we'll head out for lunch and... Um, Let's go and look for your Kadigas valley, you know. We decided not to look for the valley this time. We'll do it next time. And what if we don't get time for another year to do it then? It's all right. We'll do it next year. And what if your butterfly decides to migrate or becomes extinct? You think you can wait for another year? Considering you've been waiting anxiously for six months to look for this butterfly. I think it's more important that we enjoy a vacation. The butterfly is anywhere about love, peace, luck and happiness. Well, according to your scriptures, the butterfly brings peace, luck and happiness. The beaches and lunches can still wait. What will we do when we get back? You're being sarcastic now. I've told you I don't believe in it as such. But there is a feeling it might just exist. And all the things about it might just be true. Plus, there are references of it in the Mahabharat. I've read it myself. Which is why I'm saying, Krish, let's go and look for your butterfly. Look at it this way. The butterfly will make us rich and free. And so, we have the time and money to do whatever the hell we desire. You still have a tone of sarcasm in your voice. I can sense it. We won't look for the Kardikas Valley this time. It was I who overslept and we lost two days. So I'll have to forego. That's it. If we find your butterfly, won't it bring me luck too? I think we should both believe in it and go and look for it. You are the obstacle, you are the path. Irene had told me this. She'd read about the butterfly, but never felt the need to look for it. How do you search for something that's lost? How do you find someone determined to hide? How do you believe in something nobody wants to believe in? Irene remarried. She has a daughter. Writes me mail sometimes. And I, I live amongst butterflies. It's possible that over the years the names changed or shortened or maybe it's like uh, Karadi or Kardes or Kados or... If they did, it would be in my map. Oh, come on, these maps are so unreliable. Okay, what was it called in the Mahabharat? Virud. The story goes that Indra's mortal enemy, Vrit, had a boon. That he could not be killed during the day or in the night. Not with a wet weapon or a dry one. With a metal, stone, wood, and so on and so forth. It's damn boring. What is this? Listen to me. So he waged war on Indra and kept winning. The gods got scared and invoked Lord Vishnu. So in the final battle on a beach in the twilight, Indra hurled his Vajra into the sea. And I'm going to hurl you into the sea if you don't stop this nonsense. Seriously, seriously. Indra hurled his Vajra into the sea and created a cloud of foam which had Vishnu in it 
and this cloud engulfed Vritra. And Vritra accepted this death because it was an honor to yield to Vishnu. So, and so? And a million of his pieces fell all over the place and turned into butterflies. So peace, love, luck and happiness returned to Godland. <laughs> You'll be totally confused now. What does that mean? Like we have to now look for, okay, Virud or Viruda or Radha or some such. Hmm. What's the point? Maybe it's Vijaywada. Oh, shut East up. Coast. Think. Here. Cheers. Cheers. वक्त हुआ ही होगा वक्त को मनाए थोड़ा वक्त हुआ ही होगा वक्त को भुलाए रोशनी बुझेगी जा रोशनी जलेगी जा सांसें रुकेंगी जब सांसें चलेगी जब थोड़ी होगी तेरी बात थोड़ी मेरी बात थोड़ी होगी तेरी Congratulations. Thank you. So what's her name? Meera. Meera Acharya. Where does she live? Um, Delhi. Is she prettier than me? So, when's the wedding? January 23rd. See, I knew you'd get married and to someone prettier than me. Thoda thoda pyar bacha tha par nahi bacha tha Jeet haar mein koi फर्क नहीं बचा था नींद बटी थी जब चैना बटे थे जब यादें बटी थी जब बातें बटी थी तब थोड़ी आई तेरे हाथ थोड़ी मेरे हाथ थोड़ी आई तेरे हाथ थोड़ी थोड़ी सांझ थोड़ी 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 रात थोड़ी थोड़ी सांझ थोड़ी 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 रात थोड़ी थोड़ी सा थोड़ी थोड़ी रात बॉम्बे नेक्स्ट वीकेंड यू बिजी या आई गेस सो Come on, Krish. We've so much to talk about, and for old times' sake, please, I need your help. I need your help for for it to work out this time. Uncle, where's Kadikas Valley? Ah, Karodi ko jo uthe. Hi, boy, you ten, you ten, you ten. 
Too easily. Just as quickly as you start up things, I'm sure you have the flattest hysterics look. What are you talking about? Magnetism. You won't understand. What about magnetism? Physics. What about it? Should have never married a commerce grad. <laughs> My ass. Hysterical loon yourself. the way to the nursing home Yes How do you know I remember the statue That's all I remember Everything else I've succeeded in forgetting I believe you were smoking last night You had five cigarettes There's a little kid in the hotel. Infant, I think. Baby kept crying all night. Couldn't sleep. Have you stopped smoking or you're still smoking on the sly? What? Have you really quit? I forgot you hadn't slept well last night. Go to bed. What's the matter? You were fine an hour ago and we haven't even fought. Forget it, Krish. You haven't understood me up to now, you're not going to ever. What the fuck happened now? I'm not drunk. I wasn't speeding. Am I smelling? Please Meera tell me this is unfair. What do you want to know? Are you start behaving funnily suddenly and when I ask you you Ah uh, Meera. Yes Bobby. Meera I have been trying to speak to you since morning. 
I don't know. I must have left it behind. What is it? Meera, I've told you time and again. Kindly pay attention to your handover notes before you go for your vacation. I have no clue what's happening on the IT confront. Bobby, there is a note written by my own hand. Check page three, line three or four or something. It's not enough to put it down. You need to hand it over to me before you leave. I always tell you, don't leave things for the last moment. How can you be so irresponsible, Meera? What? I put those papers on your desk a week ago. Can you check the date on the papers? I get fifteen hundred letters on my desk every day, Meera. It's not enough to just sneak in and leave it on my table. You need to put it up for me to see it. I am not your secretary, Bobby. We have lost IT con, and you are responsible for it. I told you these guys are very professional. They're not going to wait. If you lose this client, you're responsible for it. IT con is a very important client. Oh really? You go fucking it up here, and then you call up head office to uh, butter them up. Seems like you've called me to Shumantro. May I know what for? What I speak with Shumantro is my business. It's got nothing to do with you. You're free to speak your mind to whoever and say whatever the fuck you like. And so am I. And I don't want to listen to this bullshit right now because I'm on vacation. Meera, you have crossed all your limits. But it's okay. Now just cool down and listen to what I have to say because it's more important than you stupid. Well, if it's so important, I hear what you say. Then save it till I come back, okay? And don't bother to call me because I'm not going to take your fucking calls. What's he saying? Nothing. Just trying to find out what I've spoken to Shumantro about, and of course, throwing his weight around. Where is this? Where is that? Just want to quit, man. Gonna have to quit. Can't take this pressure anymore. It's killing me. There's pressure everywhere, Mira. Existence itself is a pressure. Why can't we be peaceful? It takes so little, doesn't it? Why do we have to keep throwing ourselves into fire at every given opportunity? Don't we realize that we are dead in the end anyway? Who thinks about all that? Death is always lurking around the corner. For all you know, you know we might have an accident written in our fate on our way back. But it's the life. Before the even in death, that everyone tries to beautify. Killing ourselves to beautify life, isn't that paradoxical? Arya, we are again getting into this work discussion. See, I think I've begun to believe in the butterfly. I want to believe it exists. I'm very scared, Krish. What are you scared of, baby? I, I don't know. I just don't. I keep getting these acidity bouts. I'm scared I'll get cancer someday. My back aches. My get heat flushes. I'm scared that everybody in the office is just going to stand there and call me a loser. And I'm scared that. We could become too old to enjoy everything that we are fighting to acquire. Shh. Be quiet. No more. You don't even. We don't even have a good sex life. I'm. I'm scared that you're not happy and you could start looking somewhere else. Mira, Mira. If I quit, we'll see. If I get terminally ill, nothing's going to happen to you. Nothing.
Across the ocean, there are dark clouds overhead. My albatross has flown away. Beyond the horizon, where the ocean kissed the sky, dreams never live, they never die. Since you've been gone, time has stopped before me as I wait alone in the rain, as I wait alone in the rain, I don't know. We'll just go out and see where Wish takes us. You want to go for a bath first? No, you go. Go now. You take much longer than me, and of course, there's your shaving fetish. No, I just want to toss about for a while. Okay. Hi, Lizzie. Has anything come up yet? No, I deliberately kept my cell off. I didn't want Mira to get even a cent of this. Yeah, yeah, she'll be fine. I mean, she'll have to accept it. There is no other way. Mira, I was thinking. What happened? I will not contest the divorce. In fact, you'll get your papers within a week. What? Divorce? Is this a joke or something? Do you think it's funny? You still think it's funny? Mira, what? What has happened to you suddenly? You have made seven calls to Lisa since yesterday. And fortunately for me, I heard the last one. Or I would have continued to be a fucking idiot till he chose to let me know what a stupid idiot I am. Mira, I have to tell you something. Mira, please. I don't want to hear anything, Grish. There's nothing I want to hear from you. Mira, please. Mira, please hear me out first. Mira. Flight to Bombay now. Only in the night. What about the train? One leaves in 40 minutes, and the other is a passenger uh, train. How far is the station? Say another 20-30 minutes. But you want to go to an ATM also, no? Can we hurry up, please? Good morning, reception. Yes. 
Excuse me. Yes, sir. Can I? Do you I know the it? closest uh, ATM around here? Train. Sorry, but uh, where do you want to go now? Open the door. Yes, ma'am. Trying to understand this feeling once again. Trying to understand the silence of pain. Memories seem to fade away and come back to me. The spirit of okay. our world. Still lingers in my heart I'm clinging to a dream That's falling apart Why does it have to end this way? I need a friend How many times this treason Can I find a reason? How can I make you stay? Thank you. You have to love me, love me, true. Have to love me, love me, through. Can't you hear a baby crying? Listen carefully. No, sir. Listen, listen. Sorry, ma'am. There. Good night. Close to that 19,950 mark, just uh, maybe 50 points short of that 20,000 mark. But let's move on to some other news. Meanwhile, Kevin Hart has been accused of killing his brother. We will be the It's going right for me Hold me in your arms Lead me by your love To places 
that I've never been Save me from the harm When I'm आपे कोई कार्तिक इस वैली है क्या हाँ भाई साहब मैं आपसे कोई कार्तिक God knows, man. Cardigan is better. No freaking idea. Excuse me? Yes? Would you by any chance know of a place around here called the Kartikas Valley? Well, uh, uh, are you looking for the great Indian butterfly? <coughs> there is a method in this madness. To find this butterfly, you need to cast your net wide and long. Sometimes the search is meaningless, frustrating. But you do find it. That's a promise. Happiness is a rare insect. The finding is almost as enjoyable as the searching. But did you find it? A traveller am I, and a navigator. Every day I discover a new region within my soul. Gibran.
Where is the Kartik Gaze Valley? What if I tell you, you are right now in the Kartik Gaze Valley? This is the Kartik Gaze Valley? This is the Kartik Gaze Valley. And the butterfly? Won't you please tell me where I can find the butterfly? Peace comes knocking on our door and we say, go away, I'm looking for peace. And peace goes away. So please, I'm exhausted. Please tell me where I can find it. I be discharged. Won't take too long, ma'am. Fifteen minutes. Okay. What hospital is this? Mount Mary Hospital. I'll just be back, ma'am. Yes, I'd like to speak with the Mr. Krish Kumar in room 206, please. It's urgent. When? Okay, thank you. Do you see higher? It's Krish there? No, no, we, we took the vacation. Okay, look, it's fine. I'm a bit rushed. Can I call you a bit later? Thanks. Hello? 
Hi Lisa, Meera. Uh, Thank God. Where's Krish? I've been going mad trying to get hold of him. No, Krish is not here. Which is why I'm calling you. We had a fight two days back, and we've been in different places for the last two days. Has he called you since the day before? No, no, he hasn't called me, and I really need to speak to him. What an idiot to leave you like that. By the way, do you know? I mean, has he told you? No, he didn't tell me. I found out. Good. Um. Perhaps then I can tell you that. Um, yeah. Tell your husband Lisa, to stop despairing. Time? There's good news. I need a minute. Please. Okay. Have you found him something? Well, almost. Pretty much the job is his. It's vice president, first trust bank. Vice president? Wow, that's great. Yes, yes, but he needs to be here to seal the deal, negotiate the salary, all that. So, but that can only happen once he surfaces. Okay, okay. Look, he's probably going to call you. Will you ask him to call me, please? You don't sound so good, Mira. Is there anything I can do to help? No, I'm fine. Thanks. Thanks. Okay, take care, man. The idea is to unwind, relax. Love. We'll do just that. should have told me spoke to Liz you're being considered for the job of vice president of first trust bank oh my cell was off bobby has been sacked I might even get promoted. That's great. I don't want to continue. Because I know after some time it'll be the same shit all over again. I just want to stop and enjoy the present. Who's seen the future anyway? Why must we spoil the present over our uncertain future? So, what do you want to do? Well, maybe buy this land, live like farmers, make a little house in the corner of this land. Have lots of children, and, and the children will have children. And we'll be one big, happy, rocking family. <laughs> Where were you? Come, let's go and look for your butterfly. You know. What do you think I've been doing for the last few days? You found the Kadikas Valley. What? You actually found the Kadikas Valley and the butterfly. The butterfly too. Where is it? The valley is just a state of mind, Meera. Meaning? I met this guy. He gave up everything to look for this butterfly. Twelve years ago. It took him five years to understand. It's all about love. Nothing else. You mean there's no valley? There is. 
The valley is and will always be where we stand together. And you are my great, great Indian butterfly. जन्नत मेरी है तो बस यही तुझसे जो मिले खुशियों के चले कारवा Say it. 